Today we're looking at part 8 of our Troubleshoot a Computer series where a computer is turning on, there is no display on the monitor but there are LED lights on and the fans are spinning. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey Nim Tags and welcome, this is Ash from Hill My Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. On this channel we do reviews, repairs and tutorials of tech, so if you're new here consider subscribing, enable the bell icon notification and everyone smash that like button to see more of these videos. So today's tutorial part 8 is actually the easiest and simplest one to troubleshoot and kind of resolve because what we've done so far, we have made sure that our system is posting before coming to the conclusion that there's a problem with now the monitor or the signal coming from the computer to the monitor. So if you have any problems, if your computer is still not posting, please go and watch the troubleshoot series and identify which part of your computer is preventing the sequence of turning on a computer from completing. Okay, A monitor will have essentially three parts to it. Uh, most standard monitor will do. I mean, not this one, this is an ugly looking TV slash monitor slash DVD combo, you know, big bomb. Um, it's got a DVD drive. It has a HDMI input, VGA component, also a SCART one, okay? And there's also an on switch at the bottom. So the first thing that you need to remember that a monitor can be problematic because of one of the three reasons, which is the power in from the cable, or the LCD display itself, or the video signal coming from the video cable. In our case here, we have an HDMI, right? So if your display in itself is a problem in terms of it's busted or there is no power coming in, so the whole com you know monitor is a problem, then the easiest thing to do is to swap with a non-working monitor. And if it's working, then you know there's a problem with your monitor so if it's an LCD display usually it's not worth recommending to repair it's far too costly and then it's quite difficult to do as well it's for advanced uh, people to do I don't even want to do this kind of stuff it's a lot easier a lot simpler probably will cost you less money to just replace the whole monitor of course you've got a very expensive monitor one of those 4k display huge uh, size and uh, you know 144 uh, Hertz uh, refresh rate then probably you would want to try and get that fixed but this is cheap, you know, 22 inch 1080p display monitor for about 60 quid onwards you can get one. Save yourself some hassle. A big, <laughs> very silly mistake a lot of people make is that they forget to turn the switch button if it's there on uh, some monitors and it's just silly, it happens, you know, people do that. They, they think there's a problem with the computer whereby they just didn't turn on the switch. You'd be surprised how many people actually call me out to come and see their stuff and Click, oh, it happens. Anyway, so that should be easy peasy, okay? Now, what if you have uh, swapped your monitor with a non-working one and still the same problem? When you do the swapping, you have to also make sure reduce the variables. So make sure using the same plugs for the mains power and the same video cable, because if you are swapping and uh, it could be a problem with one of these two bad boys and uh, you haven't kept the variables the same, so it's difficult to test in that way okay so you could swap the whole thing but then when you test you have to also test the cable the mains cable and then the video cable all right now other problems that could happen is for example on this one there is one two three um, three inputs on this one here I've also got three inputs I've got a VGA I've got HDMI and DVI. You may also have display port or whatever else you have in terms of your video input. Now, if my input was on VGA, for example, which is D sub in this case, by the way, this is the BenQ GW2265, 1080p, nothing major. There you go, no display, you know, no signal because it's on the wrong input, okay? Make sure you've got the right input. And also the DVI will have no input and that's a problem, right? Obviously, we select the right input for HDMI and should be fine. Another issue sometimes what happens is with legacy devices like uh, you know VGA cables, if you have turned your computer on first and then you're trying to plug in a VGA cable, now it will not have any signal because for the VGA to work, it has to be plugged in before you turn your computer on, otherwise it will not recognize. So make sure you test that as well. And lastly, probably for today, 
is that if you have any problem, uh, it could be a cable issue, and we've talked about it in the last um, part seven, swap the cable with a known working one, okay? And also swap the input test. You have to do testing. Guys, in terms of troubleshooting sometimes, it's all about eliminating one at a time, okay? It's not magic, and which is why sometimes I can't answer your questions because you ask me, one question very loose details and there could be hundreds of possibilities i don't even know what you've tried what you haven't tried and if anything this series is a testimony of how nothing is that simple although if you know what to look for then you can kind of easily identify the problem and then just resolve that okay that's it in terms of troubleshooting this one logic common sense and hopefully you might be able to resolve it if you want to see how to repair anything to do with monitor and TVs, they both work the same way, go to this playlist whereby I show how to repair some TVs and hopefully it might help you. But if I were in your shoes and I need my work done ASAP and my monitor is not that expensive, I'd just get a different monitor. And that's it. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below of YouTube. I do apologize. I am not active on all my other social media platforms. They're there. I, I don't use them much, so I probably will not answer you. But here on YouTube, uh, in the comment section, I will most probably try my best to answer you. So also do check out my two previous videos whereby we talked about a massive restoration project of all the computers to use as a giveaway to those who are deserving or a, a upcoming Patreon uh, supporter or one of our subscribers on this channel. Uh, details below in the description and in the play button out there in the card somewhere for that project if you could help out and support me uh, with donating either the part or money then i would be really appreciated the paypal link for this is paypal.me forward slash he might tech and the second announcement was that in uh, next year hopefully beginning i am starting a massive a to z computer build from deciding to build to selecting the parts to assembling it to installing every possible peripherals and uh, devices connected to it and then installing the operating system linux windows and hopefully mac okay had to hack in tosh there's a bit of ethics on there so we'll we'll cover that when we get there but and then after this i uh, give you experience as an end user and uh, doing a comparison of all three um, platforms you know windows mac and linux so it's all good stuff hopefully so check out that video and join me for that a new series hopefully so thank you so much for watching as usual you know what to do down below like comment and subscribe and share the video to others and uh, this was ash from hill my tech helping you go from newbie to take it until next time peace out